The next step is to start building out this wireframe by adding placeholder shapes and maybe even some placeholder type to give us a better idea as to what this layout might look like. This stage of the game is really just about getting an idea of the layout to make sure that what we're about to do actually makes sense and spatially things look correct. So this doesn't have to look pretty in any sense of the word. It just has to give you a gauge for the spacing of the content that you'll ultimately put in within the final mock-up. So with that being said, if you were following along in the last couple videos, you should have this document set up where we have all the guides for the grid system that we're going to use and also the horizontal guides for the different sections within the page. If you weren't following along and you want to from this point, you can go ahead and open up guides.psd, which is available inside your exercise files folder. So we're going to have to come back here and refer to the sketch document. Again, the header has a logo and some nav elements. Then we come into the different sections within the site. Now, typically, you'll have this on your desk physically, but in this case, because we're working off of this sketch that I created, I'll return back to this document every now and then just to make sure that we're going down the right path. So, like I said, what we want to do is lay out some content here so we have a better idea as to what this layout may look like. Now, the logo for this company is fairly text-based, so you may want to use type within the wireframe. You can do that by coming over and choosing the type tool. With the type tool, in a wireframe like this, I typically like to use a basic typeface. I find it to be a little less distracting. You don't have to use the typeface that you intend to use in the final mockup. Again, it's just placeholder content. So in this case, I have Arial selected up here. That's a good choice. Maybe something like Helvetica, a fairly bland typeface. So here, I'm going to come down and click. And after clicking, I get a blinking cursor. I'm just going to go ahead and type in the text logo. It's a little small, so I'll go ahead and select it. After selecting it, I'll increase the size of it, something like 30, maybe even a little bit higher, something like 36. I think that looks okay. Again, you can always change this. We're just trying to get an idea as to what this layout will look like. So the logo will go there. Then we have some nav elements over here on the right. And I don't know at this point if I want them to appear as buttons or just text elements. So in this case, what I'm going to do is come over and choose this rectangle drawing tool. With this selected, I'm going to come over and change the fill color to more of a gray color. And this is really personal preference. I like using grays here. You can go ahead and choose your own colors. I know that I want the nav system to really occupy these four columns here. So I'm just going to click and drag a rectangle across these four columns. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe after drawing this, we want it to occupy five. So I'll try that. I'll let go of the mouse. And there I have the rectangle in place. So, so far, so good. Now let's come back to the sketch document. This area here will be a large image that will take up the entire width of the browser window. So let's come back to this document and set it up. Again, we're going to come over and choose the rectangle tool. You'll notice we have that gray fill color. I'm just going to come over and click and drag out a rectangle. Now, you can go with the guides here. And if you come up to the view menu, under the view menu, you can choose snap to. And then you can make sure that guides is selected. That's going to make it a lot easier to draw this. You could also just click. By clicking, you know what the overall width is. It's 1440. So you can go ahead and type that in. And we know the height is 600 pixels, so we could punch that in as well. So really, it's up to you in terms of how you want to work. And I think that that looks pretty good. But if we come back to the sketch, we know that we have some text here, our mission, and then some copy down here towards the bottom. So again, we could come in and type our mission. Let's go ahead and try that. You'll notice right now we're getting a cursor icon that represents we're about to add type to this shape. We don't want to do that. So I'm just going to come down here. And after doing that, I'll type in our mission. And you could also go with something a little bit more generic, like heading one, 
you know, whatever the case may be in terms of how you want to create this wireframe. I'm then going to come over and choose the Move tool. And with the Move tool, I'm going to click and drag this up and position it. Now, looking at this, I know I want this to be kind of here in the center. So I'm going to drop it so it covers these two middle columns. And I'll just go ahead and bump it down a little bit. Now, we also know that there's some text copy underneath this. We could come in and paste something like lorem ipsum, which is fairly easy. I can come over and choose the type tool again. Then I can click and drag out a box that spans across the interior columns. And with that box placed, you can then come up to the type menu. And from there, you can choose paste lorem ipsum. And it will do just that. At this point, the font size is a bit too large. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce it down. Of course, you need to make sure that you select everything. So I'm going to triple click inside there. Then I'll come back and reduce it down to something like 18. So I think that looks a little bit better. After doing that, I'll go ahead and position it. So we have this set up. And right now is probably a good time to stop and look at what's going on here in the Layers panel. So we have this lorem ipsum. We have our mission. And we also have this rectangle which is going to represent an image. You could even type in large letters in the back image. So anyone looking at this wireframe will know that it should, in fact, be an image. What I'm going to do is create a new layer group by clicking the Create New Group button. And I'm going to go ahead and call this Main for the main section. Then I'm going to select each of those components that we created. I'm going to drag them into that layer group. By doing that, you're going to stay organized, and each of your sections can be contained within a layer group, again, making it a lot easier to be able to look at your layers panel and know what's going on. So I'll come over here and create another layer group. This will be called header, because this content makes up the header. I'll go ahead and drag and drop it into that layer group. So, so far, so good. We're making progress here. What we want to do in the next video is complete this wireframe.